I'm on my way to work. Sorry about my cleavage, guys. Whatever. So I made my batter for um, to make fritters, and then I just decided, you know what? I want a different. So I'm still making fritters, but technically I'm putting them in little balls like this. So I have my mixture here. You guys can see. Um, hey. So you guys can see the mixture on my uh, story. So basically what I'm doing is just making little balls. I'm like rushing because I have to go to work in about 20 minutes. So I'm making little balls like this with the batter. I'm just sprinkling. I don't know if y'all can see. I was just sprinkling spelt flour over it just to help form my ball. And then I'm going to put, I have my grapeseed oil warming up now. So that when the, um, when I have all my balls done, I'm just going to um, put it in the grapeseed oil and basically call it a day, y'all. So quick question. When I do these live videos... Do you guys want me to put them on my channel so you guys can, um, you know, see them? What do you guys suggest? So I'm just sprinkling, nothing crazy, just sprinkling spelt, spelt flour. I'll show you guys my spelt flour when I'm done. And I'm just molding the balls. Make sure my hands are nice, nice and um, floury so it doesn't stick to my hand and it doesn't stick to the plate. So I'm just making these little balls like I told you. Is there any alternative oil allergic to Concord grape or any grape? Um, if I have a YouTube channel, the link is in my bio. There are a few um oils off top. I can't I can't even remember them off top of my head. Um inbox me, babe. Whoever just sent me that question, inbox me and I'll um I'll send it to you once I'm done. Once I'm done making these, um, I guess they're kind of, I guess they're falafel since they're balls. Um, do I practice what I preach? I just started, um, the Dr. Sebi diet about four months ago. Um, but yes, I do have slip ups all the time. It's very hard for me. Um, I lost about 50 pounds in the four months that I have been doing it. And I no longer have, you know, any blood pressure problems and things like that. So I definitely practice what I preach only because I, I know what it can do because I've seen what it can do for me. So I will say that I do have slip ups all the time. I'm human. But for the most part, yes, I am on my Dr. Sebi journey. Yes, I always I always um, check my DM. The most someone has gone without an answer from me is probably 48 hours. But for the most part, I'm always on here and I'm always replying because I know when I started off on my journey, all I wanted was somebody to reply. I was, if y'all seen the first couple meals I made, y'all would laugh at me for real because it was crazy. It was literally the craziest and nastiest food I've ever made in my life. So yeah, I always answer back um, DMs. you guys it's I, for you guys to even just like start doing it that's the hardest step because when i first my aunt has been doing this alkaline thing for a, way longer than me and just you know with everything that's going on and with you know me having health problems and being overweight it's hard it's hard but the the hardest part is starting so if you have already started Okay, so I'm done making my balls. But if you've already started, you guys, that's the hardest part. So I, you know, I just want to say congratulations to anybody who's starting. Because, y'all, yeah, that's the hardest part, for real. I would definitely say that was the hardest part of my journey is stopping. And, you know, sometimes, some days I'll slip up and I'll have, you know, um, if I'm at, like, a event or something... And all they have is size or whatever. And I'm like dire in need of hungry. I won't, I will not eat meat, but I'll have like some baked beans. You know, things like that. I'm gonna turn this heat down. Turn that heat down. Hold on, y'all.
right, my bad. So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit here. I'm sorry if I didn't answer your question. I'm trying to clean my phone. Um, I'm 18, I'll be 19 next month, but I DM you or whatnot and get to know you more so on a personal motivation level. Just talk about the of course, of course, of course. Listen, I'm human just like y'all. Like I just I started this page not too long ago. So if you guys DM me like you guys motivate me with DMs. Y'all don't even understand. Like, I be thinking about cheating and, you know, and not so much cheating with me because I'll never eat meat again. But more so, like, I'll crave, like, chocolate because chocolate is my... Listen, chocolate is the devil for me, okay? But that's when I, when I start thinking like that, like, I'm craving something, I'll have papaya because the papaya seeds kills the parasites. That have all that craving and you know what I'm saying? It kills all of that. So definitely DM me, you guys. Don't be afraid to DM me. I DM everybody back. Everybody, everybody, everybody back. Okay, y'all. I'm trying to hurry. It ain't cook. So I can go. Um... Okay, so basically what I used is I made the, uh, what I used for my fritters. So I have my garbanzo bean flour. Um, I added some arugula, peppers. I sauteed some peppers. What else did I put? I put kale. I was going to put uh, mushrooms, but I decided not to put mushrooms today because I didn't feel like cleaning them. I didn't clean them the day before. So I didn't put mushrooms, but I did put chickpeas in there. So basically... Instead of making fritters like I do every day, I decided to just make um, mold the batters with spelt flour and just make kind of little falafels, I guess. I guess it'll be called a falafel. So papaya, so papaya, I'll put it in here. The papaya, because the papaya seeds kills the parasites that, you know, gets you craving like sugary stuff. And stuff like that, so. Thank you for supporting you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys get me going for real. So, things that I eat. Fruits. I Definitely fruits, papaya, mango, uh, cantaloupe. I was just show y'all my fridge. I have to go shopping, so don't. So, I got my mushrooms, uh, cantaloupe kale my fruit juice that i make um arugula honeydew you know more fruit butternut squash ginger root fresh thyme fresh cilantro and my fruit system just fruit more honeydew i make my own um i make my own uh, i have a brain fart right now um it, it sounds good but it, i hope it's good because i'm hungry I probably have to eat on my way to work. I'm just letting this um, just die down a little bit. I'm going to let my oil heat up just a little bit more so I can just throw my stuff in there. Throw my balls in there. Yes, so I I love sea moss. Let me, let me tell y'all. Sea moss is your best friend. <clears throat> sea moss is going to be your best friend. So if you have sea moss um, in its natural state, either the gold or the... The gold or the um, the purple sea moss you can just put it in a blender you can just put it in a blender and um and water and spring water and make a gel and i think for smoothies the gel is the best for the smoothies i don't recommend putting the powder in the uh smoothies you can but for me it just throws the taste off it takes away from the fruit and it just takes away from the texture of the smoothie. So when I use sea moss powder, um, for the most part, I'm putting it in my tea. And I will show you guys. Here's so my little section right here. So my sea moss powder, I use it. I use it for my tea. Um, if I if I am make if I am putting sea moss in my uh, if I'm putting sea moss in my smoothie, it's gonna be the sea moss gel. And once again, you can make your own gel. Sea moss, I listen, yeah, I use sea moss for everything. My hair, sea moss is a really good moisturizer for your hair. Um, and, and and like he said, it has 92 minerals in it. 
your body is made up of 102. So the fact that sea moss has a 92 minerals in it, like, it's really good for you. Trust me. So, okay. So as far as eating and things like that, I'm going to be honest with you. I work... I don't know where you guys are in the world, but right now it's 4.30 p.m. And so my work schedule is 5 p.m. to 1.30 in the morning. So when I eat, it's kind of like crazy because of the hours that I work. So with that being said, I usually eat like, um, I usually eat lunch when I wake up. Sometimes if I wake up and I'm not hungry, I'll just make my lunch and then I'll eat it later on, like around 9 or 10, and I'll eat fruit and water because fruit and water, when you first wake up, it's like a reset for your body, and it feels... I can't even make it up. It feels so good. Um, let me try to fall here. My So when you first wake up, I recommend fruit and water. Hold on, y'all. I'm just gonna flip my little balls. I'm flipping my balls. Give me a second, y'all. I don't think they're done. I'm gonna get them a little harder. Alright, my bad. So I flipped that. Um, so okay, so I always get hungry. So when I do get hungry, I'll just eat fruit and mostly during the day I have my gallon of water. Um, some days I finish it, sometimes I don't. I'm just gonna be honest with you. So usually that fills me up, honestly. So I always pack uh I always pack a lunch, whether it's you know, chick whatever it's uh fritters or whatever, or it's nice uh loaded salad or I'll cook the night before whatever so i don't always get hungry but when i do i eat fruit and drink my water because i don't want to overeat like if that makes sense so yeah i do eat i do eat um strawberries sometimes you i can't the thing about strawberries is i cannot eat them by themselves i cannot eat them by themselves i hate strawberry i won't eat strawberry anything but if i'm making a smoothie if like my sister or somebody comes over they love you know they love strawberries so i always you know i always will make them something like that because she she won't even eat it without a freaking strawberry in it but me personally i don't even i hate strawberries my favorite i'm trying to flip these without like but I'm also trying to hurry up because I gotta go to work. But my favorite go-to fruit is papaya and mango. Papaya and mango, y'all. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna. And you know what I love about grapeseed oil is listen oh my god you don't like papaya papaya is my life papaya is my life and with the um papaya and mango together are i don't think i'm a great cook and to be honest like when i I never cook like my mom doesn't know how to cook like my grandma doesn't know how to cook so me being alkaline this is how I learned how to cook like be so I, w I wouldn't say I'm a great cook because me cooking now like this is me learning how to cook like and I you know I try to get my cousins and my family to try it like you know you gotta try this food you gotta try this food and they love it but they also like they like my food, but they also want, like, they want to taste the garlic. You know, they want to taste 
like I tell them, y'all want to taste the blood coming out of the meat because they just want, they want, they acquire these tastes that, you know, black pepper. So me, me, I can deal with my food because I love it and I've been doing it for so long, four months, four or five months, but I'm not a great cook. As far as recipes, I don't, honestly, I don't get my recipes from anywhere. I just find replacements for them. For example, me, picadillo is my favorite thing in the world. So the first thing that I said I was going to do was find a replacement for ground beef. Because if I couldn't find um, a picadillo replacement, let me tell you, I was going to cheat. I was, I could, I would not be alkaline if I could, if I did not find um, a picadillo replacement. That's why majority of my meals have my mushroom and walnut mixture because I love ground beef so much. So I had to find my, my, my niche and I had to perfect that. So I think I got my ground beef mixture down packed, um, especially with seasoning because seasoning was a big part of it that I learned, you know, down the road. So hi, D, Dina. So, okay, so perfectly. So depending on what you want. So in my channel, I have my walnut and meat mixture as far as for, that is my ground beef replacement. As far as chicken, I also use mushrooms because I'll just cut up the portobello, portobello. Hi, Monique. I will cut up the portobello and fry them like, see it, but I have spelt bread. So usually I'll just use the um, spelt bread as uh, breadcrumbs and just, you know, season it and just season the breadcrumbs and then just do it that way. But yeah, so basically I have all that in my YouTube channel. So you guys check out my YouTube channel. I'm actually going to end this live now because I have to hurry and get in my car and be on my way to work before I get fired and I won't have a job. So, um, I'll save this live for you guys. Yes, mushrooms are approved. Um, just not sh uh, shiitake or whatever mushrooms. But, yes, mushrooms are approved. I will, If you guys want me to, I will provide the um, Dr. Savings Nutritional Guide. I'm going to save this live so you guys can rewatch it, whatever you want. Um, I haven't eaten meat in over five months. Um, I think the last time I had meat was in November of last year. So, I'm out. You guys, rewatch this live. I'll save it and I will post my falafels.